thank the uh, honorable uh, member, honorable Sekusa Tumbono for his question. So with the rapid expansion of the Nandi Lotoka urban areas, a population of approximately 220,000, the government of the day is in it fit under the water sector strategy 2050 to uh, account for an investment of approximately 397 million in the water sector and one point, approximately 1.22 billion in sanitation by 2050. The measures shall also address the increasing demand for water and uh, wastewater services by the tourism sector. For the two financial years, 2023-24 uh, and 24-25, the uh, Water Authority of Fiji, through the funding support of Fiji government, is investing approximately 47 million into water and wastewater infrastructure upgrades. Uh, in order that uh, these projects are, to, are aligned to the water sector strategy 2050, or water, water sector 2050 plan against uh, strategic outcomes, one, access to clean and efficient water services, and two, access to safe sanitation services, which of course is aligned to section 35 and 36 of the Fijian Constitution. The significant investment is focused on improving redundancy and capacity of both water and wastewater systems, ensuring that they can cater for existing and uh, future demand. And some of these uh, ongoing projects, the uh, Warangi to Saru Water Treatment Plant Pipeline Works. Uh, Warangi Dam and Saru Water Treatment Plant were first established in 1959, and the infrastructure, particularly the raw water trunk mains, has aged significantly. Over the past 64 years, these assets have not undergone substantial upgrades. Frequent operational issues, natural disasters, and environmental wear have compromised the reliability of this system to address these challenges are robust design with improved pipe material is being implemented to enhance the resiliency and water conveyance capacity. Totaling a project cost of 9.7 million, which should be completed by uh, December 2024. And uh, Nangando to Nandela Chang means upgrading works the Nandi Lotoka water system faces a supply demand gap of 5.4 megaliters per day, or 5.4 million, li million liters per day, due to outdated infrastructure and insufficient treatment or, and conveyance capacity. To address these gaps, WEF is upgrading the trunk mains, which will ensure better hydraulic performance, improve redundancy, and provide flexibility in operations between Nandi and low uh, Project cost 8.3 million, duration 44 weeks, completion uh, date approximately estimated to be December 2024. And of course, uh, I'd mentioned prior the upgrading of the Nangando water treatment plant capacity. The Nangando water treatment plant was originally commissioned in 1982 with a capacity of 45 MLD and has been incrementally upgraded to current capacity of 90 uh, MLD. However, the plant now faces operational challenges, frequently processing raw water, exceeding its design capacity due to increased demand. In addition, fluctuating raw water quality from the Vaturu Dam has exacerbated production limitation and water quality compliance issue. To progressively address this, uh, Water authorities installed an additional 20 MLD package treatment plant to increase the treatment capacity, costing uh, 14.6 million, and uh, completion date uh, first quarter of 2025. Unfortunately, setbacks have been experienced due to uh, break-ins and thefts of key essential components. And uh, I'm uh, requesting to the public to please uh, respect our assets in terms of our public assets supplying uh, basic necessities such as water and even uh, roads and other infrastructure. Um, in addition to those, the uh, planned upgrading of the wastewater pump station and rising main from Denarau Island to uh, Navakai water treatment plant. Again, um, I'd already mentioned that that plant Currently, the current plant was uh, established in the 1970s for that uh, for the capacity for 
uh, one or two hotels and not the, um, the number of hotels which are there now and uh, planned. So uh, it, we need to expand it to accommodate the growing demand from uh, uh, developments, further developments. And the pump stations are now operating at uh, maximum capacity, uh, costing about uh, 15 million, and um, that has been tendered, and uh, we're looking at uh, 24 to 36 months. Uh, in addition, uh, the upgrading of the existing Navakai wastewater treatment plant this uh, has been there for quite some time, and work needs to be done uh, in terms of that. Uh, to relieve the, the load and cater for additional wastewater connections, which uh, envisages up to 2040. For the Ndanarao plant, uh, collaboration has been uh, established with Ndanarao Corporation Limited and the Ministry of Tourism in terms of uh, design and input, and also the, uh, the uh, load. So, uh, we're looking forward to that project ensuring the future sustainability of water and wastewater services on Denaro, a major contributor to Fiji's GDP through the tourism industry. So these projects represent major commitments from the coalition government and of course acknowledging the building on the work of the last government, which is of course to be commended and which uh, prioritize long-term <laughs> development of water and sanitation services across the country in key economic uh, areas such as Nandi and Lotok. And um, again, uh, that is um, the developments which uh, we look forward to to cater, uh, not only for the current challenges, but also the future demands as we move forward in the uh, Nandi Lotoka areas. Good afternoon.